Check out footcointraders.com for all of your ultimate team coins and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself an extra discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the AC Milan career mode and we come into this one on the back of that win against Chelsea, unexpected win against Chelsea, but we're having some fixture congestion issues. As you can see, we've got a game every two days for the next week and then only a three day break until the next one against Olympiacos. So we've got Hellas Verona, Parma and Lazio to come in this episode. Three games in the space of like five days, so it's really, really frustrating. We've got a lot of rotation going on in the squad, so hopefully, even though everyone will be tired constantly, we we can get at least a couple of good results from this one. So we start off away at Hellas Verona. Of course, there were two Veronas in La, yeah, almost in La Liga then, in Serie A, Hellas Verona and Kievo Verona. And uh, Hellas are the team we're away at today, playing in yellow and blue. Uh, nice kit, actually, Hellas Veronas. I really do uh, really do like it. But we're playing away from home in our all-white strip. And we've got a stronger team out in this one. We played a rotation side against Chelsea and we're able to come out with a win. But Polly goes close early on with that decent shot from distance, although not quite as accurate as I perhaps may have liked it to be, but Polly's been progressing quite nicely as a pro so far, as has Mario Balotelli, who's involved here. Gets a little bit lucky with a couple of deflections. Drop to Stefan El Sharawi. He's going to show nice feet to turn inside here, trying to find that finesse shot into the bottom corner, but unfortunately it actually just flashes wide and we don't even get a corner from that. It was just completely inaccurate and uh, really, really bad effort. But they pick up an, a free kick on the edge of the box. Try a little bit of uh, a little bit of training ground stuff and what a strike! I honestly had no idea that that sort of free kick was coming. I didn't even know that they had that in them as, a, as an offensive threat but they completely did me with a step over you see my uh, my guy rushing rushes out to, a, to challenge the guy that doesn't hit the ball and then what a hit that is just absolutely insane so they go in at half time 1-0 up and we really are up against it heading into the second half it wasn't the best of games but uh, understandably everyone's shattered but uh, we're trying to uh, make the difference in the second half and as you can see straight from kickoff Balotelli picks it up from them goes on a wonderful solo run step over round one Ronaldo chop round on another a lovely shot from the edge of the box into the bottom corner and we're back on level terms just one minute 31 seconds after restarting the game into the second half so really really pleased to get back on, on level terms so early on you know really gave us an impetus to push forward for the entirety of the second half and just five minutes after that El Shirawi rips across a beautiful ball and Mario is is there again with the header to put us 2-1 in front after a disappointing first half. We could not have started the second in better form. So made all three changes that I had available to me just 10 minutes after that. Pelosi, Sapanara and Cristante coming into the, uh, into the fray. A couple of players there, Sapanar and Cristante, having their... This is their first time on the field for us in the competitive fixtures so far this season. So I was hoping they'd be able to do the business for us, you know, hold out pretty well and uh, kind of just have the fresh legs to hold them out. Ballo comes close to our hat-trick here, absolutely smashes that off the inside of the post. Really fantastic effort and unfortunate not to uh, not to get us into uh, into a further lead. But they almost peg us back here. Romulo snaps inside the box. Decent first effort and Luca Toni has just come on the pitch. Really should be doing better with that. The uh, the striker of his ability, his calibre, he's been a fantastic striker throughout his career and he really let the side down there. Could have levelled things up and got Verona a point, but he didn't and we take all three points against uh, Hellas Verona away from home. So very, very pleased to do that. We rotate the entire squad away at Parma for the second game of the episode. Another away game against the side that play in blue and yellow, although they're playing in all white in this one, I do believe. But uh, we're doing quite well in the league so far. You'll be able to see the table on your your screen right now we've caught up fixed wise we're up to sixth and now uh, everyone has played eight games now so it's a level playing field as we head into this one away at Parma hoping to get another three points if we possibly can to close the gap towards those European spots of course it's only the top three that get Champions League football in Serie A so that is the overall target for the season and uh, Adult Raps came close there really nice effort after doing the McGeady spin to get inside and uh, unfortunately the header from Victor Ruiz as uh, it's whipped in is well saved by Morante and we stay at nil-nil but they're going to get their chance of the half here Biabiani is so ridiculously quick you see him racing away here just gets onto it before Abiati comes out to it but he can't squeeze it underneath the goalkeeper inside the post and we stay at nil nil but we're just before half time now and uh, Kasani's going to link up with Kasano who's going to find Kasani again who's going to find Paladino who's going to have the shot and he's going to come off the base of the post unfortunately it lands at the feet of Abate and not uh, an opposing striker and we get away with that one but into the second half uh, we're trying to create the difference here Diaby with a great shot Morante again with a really strong 
save there. The, uh, the strength in his wrist to not only just palm that, but palm it back out as well. Really strong fist. But that was all that happened in a second half, to be completely honest. It was a really, really dull game. And unfortunately, considering we were so very, very tired, we uh, we only able to come out with a point of that one. But as you can see, rotating the side again for this next game. Not everyone is fully fit. This is mainly the side that plays against uh, Verona in the first game, as you'll be able to tell from uh, looking at the lineup. But we've got Lazio. It's our only home game of the episode. Again in the rain, unfortunately. You guys know that I suck in the rain, but hopefully we can come out with a win in this one. Of course, Lazio are a very, very strong side. So definitely have the potential to, uh, to cause an, a quote-unquote upset if uh, if they're able to get uh, you know some form together. They sat 10th. They can actually go above us if uh, if they win this one by a decent margin. Of course, goal difference will, uh, will become a factor, but we were hoping to come out a win with this one, and Montalivo gets the first effort on target in the 40th minute. Not that many chances in this first half, it has to be said, and as you can see, we're pushing into the second half, and halfway through the second half as well, before this chance comes about. Montalivo threading a beautiful ball through to Rubinho, who equally sends a beautiful ball to the back post for Super Mario Balotelli to get on the end of the ball. Uh, and the end of the ball, on the end of the cross, gets head on the ball and just about squeeze it inside that post. He almost ran into the post. There's great uh, determination from Mario to get onto the uh, onto the end of the cross there. And he's been the difference in this episode. He scored both goals in the win against uh, against. Hellas Verona in the yeah I was got confused there between who we played first and second he got all both goals against uh, Hellas Verona to give us the win made the difference in this game so far against Lazio but they came very very close to getting themselves back in it there as you saw Anazzi having the uh, the shot squeezed underneath the goalkeeper unfortunately for us it goes wide we made a couple of changes again just to freshen things up Pelosi coming on for Super Mario and uh, Saponara coming on for El Sharawi just to get some fresh legs on the pitch to make sure that we didn't get completely worn out and uh, be completely dead on our feet towards the uh, the end of the game but Rubinho is going to play a lovely one too with Pelosi here a quick one too as well the uh, the defense can't quite cope with it Rubinho and his pace is enough to get away lovely dink finish over the goalkeeper as well to round out the move Marchetti absolutely no chance and we take all three points from this final game so Mario Balotelli was the difference definitely in uh, in this episode and Rubinho chipping in with an extra goal as well to round things out so very very pleased to come away with six points seven points rather from those three games so you can see really not much happening in that game whatsoever but pleased to uh, to come out with the uh, the game with the win and as you can see that win has moved us up to fourth but after spending most of the season having played less games than everyone else we've now played more games than everyone else but we are only three points off top with uh, a game played more but hopefully a couple of teams above us will slip up we're only uh, well we're level on points with the teams in the Champions League spot and only a point behind the team in second but as we see or as we say or have said as I trip over my words again we uh, we're, we've got an extra game play, so we have to wait and see what happens over the next couple of uh, couple of episodes. But that's going to bring this one to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I do apologise if I was a bit all over the place here during this one, but that's the end of today's episode. There was a My Player episode yesterday, if you missed it last night, because of course the Manchester Derby was on. So I know some of you will have missed it, and there was an AC Milan Career Mode episode yesterday as well, which if you missed, there will be an annotation on the screen on the right-hand side, although of course feel free to check the channel page. If you haven't subscribed already, then feel free to do so. We've got the My Player series, which we mentioned, and this Career Mode series as well with AC Milan going down very, very well in Indeed. So feel free to hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any of the content. There's a link on screen on the left hand side and an annotation as an annotation and a link in the uh, in the description as well to subscribe. And there's also a link in the description to my coin sponsor, Footcoin Traders. Feel free to check them out to get your coins from Ultimate Team. Use the code CHES to get yourself 5% off. And there's also a link in the description to my Twitter as well, at Chesnoy Gaming. We're pushing up towards 700 followers over there now. So if you don't follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with everything that happens with me and my YouTube and everything else, really, then feel free to follow me over there as well. But that's all for today. So thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with more AC Milan career mode in the afternoon and another My Player episode tomorrow night as well but that's all for today so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time